Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we are coming to you from the Burlap Buffalo in Mustang. And if shopping is your thing, then this is a must-stop shop. You'll find cute clothes, gift ideas, and home decor. They have a great Oklahoma section, too. We'll take a look around throughout the show. However, our first stop is an absolutely amazing location that just recently opened in Oklahoma City. The first Americans Museum has been decades in the making. Right now, Jennifer Reynolds shows us this incredible work of art. The outside of the First American Museum in Oklahoma City is every bit as striking and meaningful as the inside. Really, our facility and our grounds is a giant cosmological clock. You see two uh, circular designs. One is the earthen mound, and then you see our glass and steel facility. The earthen semicircle is built to mark the summer solstice at the mound's peak and the winter solstice through a semi-sized tunnel at the base. The 500,000 cubic yards of Oklahoma soil also pays tribute to the great mound builders of eastern Oklahoma in pre-European history. Spyro Mounds is one of those great cities in North America that was here long before Europeans arrived, and at one point Spyro Mounds was larger than London. The steel and glass museum itself is the second semicircle, where the past and present intersect is the large glass structure you can see from the interstate, a modern take on the grass lodges of the Caddo and the Wichita, two of Oklahoma's original tribes. It's called the Hall of the People. It's a grand rentable space and the entryway to the downstairs gallery that begins the story of the 39 tribes who now call this state their home. What happened here would be the equivalent of moving every country in Europe to a place the size of England. And when you think about it that way, you begin to understand how diverse our, our communities are, our native communities are here in Oklahoma. How to capture the essence of so many unique cultures was the great challenge for curators. They've met it beautifully, for example, in the 320 degree screen of the Origins Theater, where stories of tribal genesis coalesce around three elements almost all contain, sky, earth, and water. Indigenous voices and breathtaking animation bring those stories to life. I wanted to stay there and listen all day. To house this theater in the round, designers created a gigantic replica of an earthenware pot by famed Caddo artist Jerry Redcorn. The one thing that I'm most proud of on this project is that my entire curatorial team are all members of tribes here in Oklahoma. And this story is personal to all of us because we finally get to tell our stories from our perspective. Native visitors can feel the difference. I am Chickasaw, um, and uh, uh, this is my first time to visit FAM. Um, and I think a lot of us in our group had kind of experienced the same thing when we walked in. It felt comfortable. Um, it felt like we were supposed to be here. The downstairs gallery takes you on a centuries-long journey through the history of Oklahoma's 39 tribes before Europeans arrived and during their violent removal from original homelands across the U.S. Then the focus shifts to what curators say is the more important message of the museum, the resilience of First Americans. Native achievement is memorialized and modern Native culture celebrated from the grand to the everyday. If you can plan your visit over lunch, try the restaurant called 39. I had the hominy stew and the skillet cornbread and both were beautifully served and delicious. There's also a gift shop full of things to remind you of your visit as well as works by Native artists. All are part of the First American Museum's goal of sharing tribal culture as a colorful living experience, not a dry tale of times past. History hasn't stopped and, and, and so we continue to have a narrative that, that needs to be told and I think you, you really get that feeling here at the museum, at least I do um, personally. I, I see a representation of who uh, we were and what we've been through as to who we are today. We're telling these stories of perseverance and survival uh, and the fact that we overcame a lot of challenges and here we are today and uh, we're more vibrant than ever. At the First Americans Museum in Oklahoma City, I'm Jennifer Reynolds for Discover Oklahoma. The First Americans Museum is open Wednesday through Monday. They're closed on Tuesdays. You'll want to check their website for details on admission, hours, and nearby hotels. And after a night out in Oklahoma City, it's time to head up Route 66 to Tulsa. And if you're staying the night there, we've got just the place for you. Jason Grubbs takes us to Buck Adams Crash Pad. 
Not only can you pick up some cool souvenirs and gifts from Buck Adams Cosmic Curios along Route 66 in Tulsa, you can now book a stay at his swanky cosmic crash pad right next door to the colorful shop. So right behind the 21 foot tall space cowboy is the crash pad. Owner Mary Beth Babcock says the pad's perfect for those traveling the mother road through Oklahoma, celebrating a special life moment or simply needing a staycation. She describes the space as vibrant and fresh. I'm all about the experience. I want people to have fun and it not just be a, a regular stay. So we try to kind of infuse it with the, the excitement of Bucks. Stays are booked through Airbnb. The house leaps up to six. There are three bedrooms with one and a half baths. In one room, there's a full bed. One room, there's two twins. And then in the master is a king bed. The space is also a gallery. Much of the artwork and accessories are for sale. With the shop being so small, I thought, how cool would it be to extend the store somehow? So if you stay the night and fall in love with a piece, you don't have to leave it behind. We have a section on our website. You go to the website, type it in, buy it, and then they just contact me and say, hey, I'm gonna buy this piece. They take it with them. The art inside isn't the only view. Nearly every window has one, filled with painted murals to a big bear and robot out back. Buck himself can be seen too, even the historic Meadow Gold sign. So many views, you can just pull the blinds and there he is, even the neon sign. The neon sign at nighttime, imagine you're staying in the room and then it's lit up, it just glows. Wi-Fi, TV, a kitchen, washer and dryer, Buck Adams Cosmic Crash Pad is certainly a comfy home away from home with all the amenities. Just a big thing in my life is hoping to help people create memories. You know, to look back and be like, remember that time? Some of those memories are left in the guest book. You'll find it on the usable record player in the living room people leave some very sweet notes. They let their little ones write what they, you know, you see lots about, I loved the robots. Ohio, Chicago, Santa Monica. <laughs> I love space robots, <laughs> Sam. I mean, this just makes my day. I, I get just as much, you know, gratitude from, from reading how it impacted them. It's not just an ordinary place to stay. Along Route 66 in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Buck Adams Crash Pad is available to book on Airbnb. You'll enjoy the gift shop next door and so many incredible shops and restaurants in the area, all right along the Mother Road. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. When you book online, you can put like um, a note or like a request and we'll have some people that'll say, please make sure Blake Shelton is in town when we're there. <laughs> yeah. No promises, but this destination in Tishomingo will do what they can to help you spot a country music star during your stay. We make our egg salad, tuna salad, chicken salad, crab salad twice a week. Come in for lunch, don't leave without dessert, where you need to eat your next meal in Edmond. These are Oklahoma clothes. A lot of it is designed from not just us, but other artists around the area. And shop till you drop at this Made in Oklahoma spot. It's all coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from a great place to stop and shop, the Burlap Buffalo in Mustang. There are so many great places like this across Oklahoma's metro areas. That's right, but if you want to get out of the cities and into the small towns of Oklahoma, we've got a great stop for you. Deanne Stein takes us to the Pennington Inn in Tishomingo. The Pennington Inn is located right here in the heart of downtown Tishomingo, offering you a cozy stay while you discover everything this town has to offer. Tish has been growing and we saw that it was growing. And with that growth, Seth and Angelie Parrish saw an opportunity. We just thought, why not, you know, put a place in where someone can stay and you can access, you know, a good time across the street, a good time next door, and then just, just have a good time here right on Main Street. The couple renovated this space in downtown Tishomingo into the Pennington Inn. I love the Pennington. I really do think it's a beautifully done and very timely. 
The Airbnb-style accommodations offer guests one of three rooms, all named after nearby landmarks. Our first room, Good Springs, that's what uh, Tishomingo was called before it was Tishomingo. And then the next room is a refuge. We have a large wildlife refuge in town, and we kind of went for like a double meaning on that name. Um, and then we have the Blue, and Blue River is just probably seven minutes north of town. The inn itself is named after Pennington Creek, a historic creek that runs through town. And even the decor supports local businesses. A lot of our furniture is from Hauser Furniture, which is right down, right down the street. And then um, also a lot of our decor is from um, Marion, Maine, which is another store here in Tishomingo. Each room has a private bath with a walk-in shower, TV, and a coffee maker. As an added touch, there's a sound machine for you to choose the perfect calming background to lull you to sleep. It's very comfortable and I love the location because it sits right in the middle of downtown Tishomingo where everything is happening. There's plenty of shopping along Main Street and a spa next door to take your cares away as well as nightly entertainment. A Reds, there's beautiful, wonderful, great country western music, and then if you just want to sit and have a nice glass of wine, there's the Mulberry Bar. There's nothing that you couldn't find to do for the whole family if you want to come to Tishomingo and spend the weekend. The lobby inside the inn is always locked from the public, where guests can use it for any type of gathering, like wedding accommodations or a shower. Girls' nights, that's also a big a big thing here, big birthdays. They'll, we have groups of girls that come and they'll book the whole place. And your host will even take special requests. So you can book um, a stay here and say book and a couple's massage and then also have like your room decorated with flowers or rose petals, whatever. But there's one request they can't promise. When you book online, you can put like um, a note or like a request and we'll have some people that'll say, Please make sure Blake Shelton is in town when we're there. <laughs> yeah. Even if you don't see Blake, the parishes are sure you'll enjoy your stay. We have our book over there that people write in, and uh, it's just kind of cool to go through there and see where everyone's from. We do get a, a lot of good feedback, too. Yeah. Um, they love that it's right on Main Street. In Tishomingo, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. Book your stay at the Pennington Inn on their website, thepennington-ok.com. And as you head back into the metro areas from some of the smaller towns in Oklahoma, chances are you may be ready for a little lunch. There's a spot in Edmond that's been serving up sweet treats and great food for decades now. Come with me now to McLaren's Pantry. For almost 40 years, McLaren's Pantry in Edmond has provided handmade sandwiches, soups, salads, and sweet treats to their customers. Let's find out what has made this a hometown favorite for decades. Well, we have people that come with us, eat with us every week. Some people eat with us three times a week. People come to um, meet each other here and then talk to us too. Started by two sisters back in the 80s, it is now run by Kathy, who started as an assistant in the kitchen. It started out as a pantry, McLaren's Pantry. The two Scottish sisters that started it back in the 80s, early 80s, and then I've owned it for 17 years. So the sisters had it together 20 years, and then I've had it 17, August 1st is my anniversary of 17 years. But I still love it every day. McLaren's Pantry is much like the pantry in your own home, providing comforting and nourishing food, which makes it the perfect stop for a bite to eat. We do soups every day, a couple different kinds of soups every day. Then we have uh, sandwiches, soup, they do our quiches too. So we have turkey, ham, roast beef, pastrami. We have the easiest menu and then we make our egg salad, tuna salad, chicken salad, crab salad twice a week. And um, really the important thing about that is it's the same as it was yesterday. No matter what you get here, you're going to love it. Probably about once a week the last couple of weeks. We've kind of been on a kick recently, um, so it's been pretty frequent. We really enjoy coming for lunch. Um, my husband and I get the turkey avocado croissant sandwiches, which are really flavorful and delicious. And then I always come back for the lemon bars. After your delicious lunch, peruse the dessert cases to finish off your meal on a sweet note. I think what makes us popular is we do the kind of cookies you'd make at home if you had time to make them at home. We have chocolate chip, snickerdoodle, 
shortbread, sugar, I sell all, all out the sugars by hand. The Sweet Dreams is, are unique to McLaren's, shortbread is unique to McLaren's. And for bars, brownies, lemon jummies, we do those every day. And they're the most popular. Lunches get what brings people in, but they don't leave without cookies usually. A hometown favorite ready to welcome you with delicious food, sweet treats, and kind smiles. Mora, the previous owner, called it <coughs> cheers without the booze. You know, that we were that kind of place that you meet your friends and that people come in and see somebody else they haven't seen for a while. And it's just so heartwarming to see that they uh, love to come here. You'll find McLaren's Pantry at 3414 South Boulevard in Edmond. They're open Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. I think we have some of the best selection as far as sports gears go. No matter which team you root for, all your Oklahoma favorites can be found here. We're in meat country. And wait until you see how they're proving that true in western Oklahoma. It's all ahead when Discover Oklahoma continues. In Oklahoma's state parks, you'll go a little deeper, burn a little brighter, and scale new horizons under these endless skies. You can walk on the wild side, take the road never traveled, or just go with the flow. That's the whole purpose of Oklahoma's state parks. They remind us that the simple things bring us together. Start your journey at TravelOK.com parks. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're having a great time doing a little shopping here at the Burlap Buffalo and Mustang, where you can find all kinds of Oklahoma t-shirts, hats, and accessories. And of course, there are so many locally owned shops that are the perfect places to stop and do a little shopping. That's true, and right now, Shelly Mills is going to take us to another one. Let's check out Opolis. Tucked back in this old fire station just north of Northwest 10th Street along Hudson Avenue is a unique clothing store specializing in items Oklahomans will love. Here at Opolis Clothing Company, you are sure to find something great. These are Oklahoma clothes. A lot of it is designed from not just us, but other artists around the area. Whether you love OU, OSU, or the Thunder, you're sure to find a game day shirt you love here at Opolis. I think we have some of the best selection as far as sports gears go. There are also hats, fun themed socks, and other items for fans to wear. And they also have Oklahoma themed items like these shirts. They are all hot sellers. Not only do they look cool, but they feel great too. These shirts are extra soft and very lightweight. Our main goal is to go for the kind of the vintage look. While clothing is their business, the vintage items decorating the store are always a hot topic of conversation with customers. From sports memorabilia to toys and video games, the store's decor just might take you back to your childhood. A lot of people come in too just to look at the merch. So whether you're in need of something new to wear to the game or just wanting to represent our great state, Opolis Clothing Company likely has something to fill your need. I mean, come and see us. In Oklahoma City, Shelly Mills, Discover Oklahoma. The Opolis headquarters is located in Midtown Oklahoma City at 1111 North Hudson. You'll also find their apparel at boutiques across the state, including the Oklahoma State Stadium Store and Student Union. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. Then we put mozzarella and Swiss cheese with that. Okay, then we use sirloin steak as the meat. Pizza like you've never seen, it's dinner worth the drive when Discover Oklahoma continues. There are some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. We've had a great time today doing a little shopping here at this locally owned shop, the Burlap Buffalo and Mustang. And right now we're going to head west to get some really, really good food. And I have to tell you, videographer Chris Cook and I had an absolute blast shooting this story. So let us show you now the mountain man axe throwing and grub in Elk City. 
In general, food can help create a sense of belonging and you can forge an attachment to it when regularly experiencing fantastic fare like you will find at Mountain Man Axe Throwing and Grub. And we just try to provide that atmosphere of being at home. A wonderful example of community and feeling like one big happy family, this place is fun and different on many levels. Corey is the mountain man and his wife Christy and their family have worked very hard to make sure you leave here happy and full. We're in meat country. So guess what their top seller is? The mountain man has probably been the one, it's been with us since the inception. It's basically a meat lover's pizza. Some pies are dough centric. The dough is delicious here, but the focus is really on the toppings and the combinations of them. Check out the Grizz. There's no pizza sauce, but the crust has garlic butter as the sauce. Then we put mozzarella and Swiss cheese with that. Okay, then we use sirloin steak as the meat with onions, bell peppers, and pickled jalapenos. We run that through the oven. When it comes out of the oven, we drizzle it with white queso and ranch dressing. This is colorful, flavorful, and delicious. Number three is the double edge, but at Mountain Man, watch out, a new big number one has entered the picture. I love the name of it. This pizza is called Bigfoot Bait. I make my own barbecue sauce. So this pizza, the Bigfoot Bait, is the, cr the, sh the shell, the crust, my barbecue sauce, which is a strawberry chipotle barbecue sauce, and then we use mozzarella cheese with smoked Gouda cheese. We use bacon, These are love already. bacon, pulled pork, and roasted red peppers to give it some color. We run that through the oven. Then we, when it comes out, we use the French fried onion, uh, crispy chips. We we go on the top of that, and we use a honey sriracha drizzle on the top of that. And this is crazy good, but they also have a gluten-free cauliflower crust pizza. Several hearty, filling, and distinctive sandwiches are available, like the Trapper and the Daniel Boone. For dessert, these really, really good chocolate chip cookies the size of a large hockey puck will do the trick. In the meantime, you can throw axes. Yeah! Eat while they throw. Hence why yeah. we built the, the uh, benches. Right here, we can yeah. set pizzas, and we can set food. Much. They turn around, they eat a bite, throw. Yeah. Some people, it's all of the above. Some people want to come in and sit down and eat before they throw. Mm -hmm. Some want to eat while they throw. Some want to eat after they throw. Yeah. And some have gotten so good at throwing axes, they are now entering tournaments like this young lady named Lacey. Yes, I, I, I really love it. It's really fun to do. The first time we came, I was, I was nervous, <laughs> but she wasn't that nervous, and uh, we kind of sat out and watched her do it, and she done really good, and it was in the open adult tournament, who she was playing against. This is a fun place for a birthday party. You bring your own cake, and you will get to cut it, yes, with an ax. Look at this place. It's all about having fun and enjoying wonderful food. Bring the whole family. It's family fun. The food here is great. Corey put a lot of time, him and his wife put a lot of time into this, figuring out what they wanted to do. We come in here quite a bit because there's just not many places you can go that have great food, and this is great food. You can special order anything. The Spikers have the luxury to create and try new recipes and combinations. But when you do come here, you will enjoy the experience and you will want to come back. And it's just so different. That's the thing. It's just different. The atmosphere's different. The ambiance is different. The menu's different. And it just I think the great it's just a great combination. Winning combination for that. A job's not a job when you're having fun. And when you get to help people have fun, it's it's great. In the words of my dad, who I you know, come to Mountain Man's because we're going to treat you so many ways you're bound to like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and again, a huge thank you to all the folks at Mountain Man Axe Throwing and Grub in Elk City. You will find them at 325 South Main Street. They're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but do accommodate private parties that book in advance. You can check out their website, mountainmanelkcity.com. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to our friends here at the Burlap Buffalo and Mustang for hosting us this week. You'll find them at 224 West Highway 152 in Mustang. They're open seven days a week, and you can also shop online. Their website is theburlapbuffalo.com. If you want to browse in person, check out their hours there too. 
And coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, we're getting a taste of the cowboy life in Osage County. And tacos you'll be talking about for days. Why you've got to try these. That's next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.